White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre asked point blank about whether the Pentagon may have shot down a private flying object used for research. You tell us, does her answer inspire confidence? Have any private companies or research institutes contacted the U.S. government in any form to say that one of their flying objects is missing? No, we have not yet been contacted. No, no, not yet. Okay, joining me now, Oklahoma Senator, Republican Senator James Langford. Senator, thank you for joining us. You know what I want to dig into a little bit with you, Senator? We're obviously not going to get any information. They're going to obfuscate. They're going to lie. They're going to do whatever they do in the White House. But I'm trying to figure out, we already know the first one was Chinese. Why are we so afraid of the Chinese? We, we should not be afraid of the Chinese. We should be very clear and not hesitate. As you recall, the Biden administration and President Biden himself hesitated when he needed to be able to act when we knew 100 percent it was a Chinese spy craft coming into American airspace in Alaska. He hesitates all the way over Alaska and then hesitates again as it comes into the continent of the United States. I do remind everyone, Alaska is part of the United States. There's no reason. Then now we've got three other objects that are up there. They don't know if they're Chinese spy craft, apparently, and so they're taking immediate action to be able to shoot those down. And so what we knew was a Chinese spy craft, they hesitated on what we don't know they're shooting down. It makes absolutely no sense. Senator, um, let, let's, let's take it one step further. Our businesses, the United States American businesses, they're free to do business with who they want. Um, we now see that the NBA is, is beholden to, to the Chinese. We see Major League Baseball beholden to the Chinese, not yet NFL, not football yet. But why are our business, I get it, there's a big $1.3 billion market that they want to go after in, in, in consumers, yet they're going after the almighty dollar, the yuan, the Chinese yuan, by putting down or putting Americans at risk. Yeah, they, as you mentioned, the NBA makes more money in China than they do in the United States. They, they will never allow any NBA athlete to ever say anything negative about China. And if anyone applies anything about China negatively, then the NBA gets them fired and kicked out. You can see that from Ennis Canner Freedom. I mean, he was kicked out of the NBA, great player, simply because he spoke out on, on Chinese human rights issues. What we're seeing is American companies and their wokeism, uh, that they're not only going woke on the American people, but they're now buying into Chinese disinformation and, quite frankly, ignoring Chinese human rights issues. So they're setting up shop in China, just looking the other way for their own consumers in China and the human rights violations there, the surveillance, the theft of their property as they're pursuing a billion people market in China and ignoring the realities of what's actually happening on the ground. They, they should use their power as an American company to be able to speak out for those human rights violations, not to be able to uh, just go play into that and pretend it's not happening. Yeah, so, Senator, there's a, you know, anytime you do business with a Chinese, a Chinese company, you're actually in bed with the communist Chinese government because every single business in China, right. the government is a partner. So this Fufang group that bought a piece of land, farmland, in North Dakota, they, they thought they were getting a big, nice piece of land real close to one of our military bases. But someone, a group came in of lawmakers came in and said, no way, no, we're killing that deal. Here's my question. Should, you know where else there's a lot of farmland? Oklahoma, Nebraska, the, the, the breadbasket of America. Yeah. Should we ban Chinese government companies and governments from ever buying any of our land? You bet. So yeah, I actually have the bill for that, actually, ironically enough. The bill uh, right now, if there's any Chinese company that wants to be able to buy an American company, for instance, a healthcare company, a technology company, whatever it may be, they have to go through what's called the CFIUS process. Uh, it's this committee for international purchasing that they've got to go through a review on it. Agriculture is exempted from that. So if a Chinese company wanted to be able to come in and buy farmland, uh, farm products, whatever it may be, uh, they're allowed to be able to do that. They're just not allowed to be able to come in and buy other companies on that. That's a loophole in the system that I'm trying to actively close on it and to say we should actually review that and not allow that. And we're seeing China actively work to be able to take on land near military bases, uh, other agricultural land that's essential on it. If we have Chinese ownership of that, any farmer or rancher will tell you there are a few things that are more precious on earth than land. That's a limited quantity of land. When they start buying up that land and start to be able to control that, then they're also controlling what happens in our area as well. We can't allow that. I've actually got the bill to be able to lead the way to get to block them out from doing that.
Well, Senator, I hope you bring that bill, and I hope you bring it. I hope it gets to some sort of vote. I'm sure it won't be signed into law under a Biden administration, but, hey, 2024 is just around the corner. One can't hope, out. can't one. Senator, we appreciate your time. Senator Langford, always good having you on, friend. You bet. Good to see you again.